Well, now I normally don't do uh, computer type videos, uh, but I found a little uh, tiny Linux operating system that basically saved my ass. And I'm going to show you how it works on this computer here. Um, Windows doesn't work on this computer. For whatever reason, my brother sort of half looked at it and said he couldn't fix it, which I think he probably just didn't want to. But I'm going to show you what this computer does, and then I'm going to show you the little uh, operating system I found. Now what happened to me on my computer I use in the house to edit videos was uh, basically I got a virus, and then I went in there and tried to fix it, which only made things worse, and I couldn't get files off, and I couldn't get Windows to run right. And basically I screwed it all up. Oh damn, I need a keyboard, don't I? Shit. Well, I'm going to go get a keyboard, and then I'll finish talking. Alright, I got a keyboard that works, and I hit F2. I don't know why they would, when you, they know you don't have a keyboard, ask you to press F1, or whatever. But anyway, back to my story. Um, I'm going to start Windows normally. I screwed up my computer, and I had files on it, and I couldn't get them off. And here's what happens to this one. It just uh, shuts down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and I found this program called Puppy Linux on the internet. It's a tiny, that's not a program, it's a tiny version. It's a tiny little operating system. And basically I'm going to put that in there <coughs> and I'm going to restart the computer the good old way with the switch. But anyway, I had to get files off my computer and I found this little tiny program and I figured well, with a name like Puppy Linux, it can't be hard to use, and I was right, it was real easy. But it saved my ass. And what it does is it basically, it operates off of the uh, the memory, the RAM, I guess. I don't understand it, I'm not a computer guy. But it works, I know that. And it's super easy to use. I was able to save all my files um, to an external hard drive, or you could burn them to a CD, or put them on a little... USB flash drive, whatever, and I just thought it was the coolest thing in the world, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, load it up for you and show you what it is, and it's it's so simple that, you know, I could use it, which says a lot, and you can go on the internet with it, and it's a really cool little thing, but, you know, this computer obviously, <clears throat> you saw it wouldn't load Windows, so... Now it's loading the little uh, little puppy uh, operating system. And I figured while I was here I would show you the inside of the computer. It is just filthy, dirty, nasty, ugly. I got my CD-ROM drive up top. It's horrible, but it still works, which is good. And actually to run <coughs> this puppy uh, Linux, I don't even need a uh, uh, keyboard, but I had to plug it in to show you what the computer does without the puppy Linux. So I'm going to wait for this thing to load, and then once it does, we'll come back. Well, here it is all loaded up. I'm sure you can't really read what's on the screen, but that's okay. Uh, they're obviously small icons, but what I can do here is just close this and I don't know how well you can see that at the bottom there are these icons. And I've got a floppy drive, a hard drive, and a CD because I've got a CD in there. And this is actually not running on the hard drive right now. So I can open up the hard drive on the computer that I can't get to load. Through Windows anyway. I can click on that. I guess you only got to click it once. but And then I can get all my files from Windows wherever I want to go. I can uh, open up pictures or whatever, whatever I want to do, it's pretty cool. Um, and I can also transfer them, I can burn them to uh, a CD, even though I don't have a CD in here, I'll open that back up again, and uh, see if it gives me a, see if it gives me an option to burn, I don't know, I'll, you can find it, it's real easy to use, and <clears throat> if you put in a, a flash drive or a different CD or whatever it would just pop up down here at the bottom and you can transfer all your files to an external hard drive or whatever or you can use this as a little tiny operating system um, 
it's got the internet if you click on the browse button and if you're hooked up the internet which I'm not you can uh, go ahead and down, download Firefox it's got uh, an image viewer a movie player I mean paint calculator write draw it's basically got everything you need and you can run it on next to nothing it's just a really cool program that is really easy to use even for a beginner the hardest part I suppose would be burning the ISO image onto a CD but there's a lot of you know different programs that'll do that pretty easy so I just figured I'd share that for you if you got a computer where Windows just took a crap on you which happens to me and you need to get files off um, I would use this it's just super super simple to use